Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Sabah Zara back in the video playing some more Man NFL 24. This is really gonna be about um Andrew Luck, man. Oh damn, messed up. Oh, he got 95 speed, 99 throw power, 99 short, 98 medium, 98 deep accuracy, 99 throwing the pressure, 97 throwing the run, 99 play action. He got six, he six four, 240 pounds. 96 generation, 90 juke, 86 spin, and Sefi Lee for free. And then you got Dash, Dead Eye, Master Technician, Gun Slinger. Um, I ain't give him like no crazy amount of stack abilities, but. And I'm using 3 AP for this. And then I got 8. So I might still take off Dash and Dead Eye because I might put something else. I don't know, but. But yeah, man. Um, and what I was saying. But yeah, man. Let's get into game. See how we can do for Andrew Luck. Because bro, Andrew Luck is probably like the best QB. Everybody said Lamar Jackson understandable. Only why Lamar Jackson is good because he get trust. His release is good also. But Andrew Luck, as like when I tell you this. Like you can tell, it's Charles Lee Davis is always. I'm Brandon uh, Gordon. Charles, Andrew Charles Bobby you talk Wagner. about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks. Certainly, two of the best in the business. I don't business. know why. I don't, nowadays, don't be the, I don't be the type of person to change my car cover art. A top flight like it don't really the way the game is played, don't matter. With but all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game. Your team's not going to benefit at all. All right, come Here's on, y'all. Now, Pat McAfee to get this one started. And off oh, hopefully we go I can die him up real mode. quick. Try to do some, do some deep. Zone. No yeah. Here. Okay. He's the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. I feel like I should never got caught right there. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Uh, of course, we're going against a six-win even player. They'll fake the handoff. Now lock. Oh. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. Oh, I'm glad I remember it. It's a QB. Here's a QB uh, um, game play. I don't have to just, just constantly try to throw to one player. But we're going to focus on. Mm. So we're gonna be focused on like that complete completions and stuff. So now a play fake and it's locked. Uh -huh. He's gonna find his running back. It's uh -huh. complete. And he goes yeah. down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Luck on first down. Come on now. Musgrave, the tight end. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Luck throwing again. Flushed out right. Ah. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Here's a quick throw out of sure. the cut. And, and a touchdown. Only three That's yards crazy. on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive. That's so crazy right there. No that and a touchdown. Because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal. And he'll get it. And he looked. Touchdown! The sneak successful for the yard out, and the Packers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And seven plays, six seven yards. Well, I feel like that following the touchdown is cool to kick off. Should have been a touchdown, but. Trying to get him a little passing touchdown at first, but and he'll on. be stopped up at the 25. <laughs> the 
This is Eric Dickerson, four-time rushing champ. And this will leave him a yard short. Oh, my nice God, bro. How many, many times? I'm down. about to just keep getting break tackle right over Eric Dickerson. Like, he don't even, he not even activated, dude. Not even activated. activated. Settle down, catch their breath a little bit. Yeah, that's that new golden ticket, Julius Peppers, and he still... He can't, he can't tackle him. To throw on second down is locked. Getting this into the hands of Eric Dickerson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion... Right, see, look, he's breaking out of town, and we don't even have... He ain't even so activated, bro. Like... Each and every time, either equal try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead this is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up i put Ray Lewis right here he gets more from the 46 here's second down and seven avalanche his sticks going there's lock and a quick throw here that's Bro. complete and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. I think of Leary breaking out of every Nine tackle. Yards to pick up there and it's a like, I know down. I did a strip animation, well, but God damn. You know what I mean? Like, he was still getting, want to get him involved. Not only he was getting in hit, like, game, but in the past game that. as well. And he can be such a weapon for them when they utilize him this way. And partner, you know, you know I'm a veteran, right? Why are you even picking? Words, that means a little bit older. <laughs> Back in my day, we used to call a guy like this a workhorse, except he carried the ball all the time. Now they get it to him a variety of ways, but you're right. They won't run their offense through him. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now it's locked. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A gain there of 21 yards. Uh oh. Oh, can you do the right thing? Damn. After one, seven, nothing. This, sports. this why I don't like this damn show. And it's the Patriots in control of the football. I, I ain't never had a wire controller, the and then I'm over. Him. See, look, it's not even. Come on, cuz I can't even do adjustments right now. Well, I clicked on, and I did a straight animation. I guess that's why it stopped. I've been throwing it. Throwing on second and long. Luck. Escaping the pressure right. And throws it on the move, but can't connect. His that far is incomplete. Well, now, your Andrew Luck ain't my Andrew Luck, ain't it? ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Third and long, it's locked. Mm, boy. And the Packers pick it up. Get the fuck off me. Yeah, Ray Lewis. <laughs> 37 yard line. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. A fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained oh, really drive. If they keep stick. stringing those together, I'm glad I like him out there. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long, you start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? Uh, I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the, the Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Bro, it's crazy. He, to go he used it. He used the D line on that, right? To be done. Why the whole hood get free, though? I can understand him getting free, but nigga, the whole hood is There's crazy. Hey, look, it's every nigga getting free. It's, this shit don't make no sense. Bro, it's one person getting free, then all of a sudden everybody else gets free. Like, I hate itch made people, bro. Beautiful. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. And got mm -hmm. his man complete. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. An explosive 38-yard pickup. 
Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. This is ridiculous, guys. Inside give to Dickerson, and he is making a right into his man. behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. To throw his line. Quick hitter here, it's complete. All right. Five yards, now it's third and five. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. And the offense is going to stay out there. They snap it to lock. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown. Hey, guys, boy. Jordan Waddle. Come on, Waddle. 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 That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Oh, little big touchdown. Got to they went for use it. Their D line. They were it was inside of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. through one tackle and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18 the pats at the line ready to go and with him down two scores you wonder if they might try and put something together even if it's just to get into field goal range yeah boy that he goes down just inside the 10 back at the nine to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. A shotgun snap for Luck. Looking deep downfield. Nope. That's a pick. That's into a double team and it's intercepted. And we quit it, huh? We is quit it, huh? Come on now. Little bitch made people want to use it or D line. Gus, come on now. Come on, let's, let's hit back with another game right now. Yeah, he had over, uh, I think, 100. And I, can, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I don't remember how much yard, but he had a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown right there. So. But he, but Andrew Luck is throwing dots. Y'all see how fast the ball leaves his hands as soon as I, like I'm pushing it. I just shoot, and I just throw that motherfucker. I ain't that thing. With Charles Davis, you got Andrew Luck, Bobby Wagner, Shannon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks. Certainly, two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility first. he has, okay, okay. and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set to go, Young Way Koo ready to do the honors. And off we go from Lambeau. Boom, and boy. And him down a couple yards shy of the 30. He's going to be stuck oh. cold behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Block. Now the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. A little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Here's Locke. 
Oh, he's he's broken up. Oh, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. Pass uh, taken in by his big tight end. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Throwing his lock. They'll find his running back. It's Emmett Smith. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as what well. The what the hell happened? Give me that. He tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Packers are going to get the football here as they Come force on the INT. What the hell happened to my team? Oh, he was going to get a free touchdown. After the interception, it's locked. Really? Why I, I get instant sack, bro? I just don't understand. Loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. That nigga should not be getting instant sack. On second down, here's Lock. Eluding the pressure right. And that will be incomplete. The fact that he opened, but... I keep getting an instant, there, damn it, instant and down. then he using the D-line, too. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes, you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. Oh, my God, bro. They get him back at his own three-yard line. Here we go on fourth, lock. It's incomplete. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And boy, that means this next drive is going to start at the three-yard line. They're quite a turn of events. This is first and goal from the three. Smith. Well, take it in. Touchdown. So good job there, Charles. Taking advantage Why of the short the field. Zone, right? score first, punching I it in on the short touchdown. Run. Stuff, I love the okay. theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field. Took it downfield. Put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. All right, I was done for going for it anyway, but fuck it. Oh, hurry up, man. Extra All you gotta do is kick a field goal. Here. How hard to make your decision is. And it's good to make it seven to nothing. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. Escapes the defender. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. 
Well, Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it. Yeah, yeah. They didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. Yes, they do. Oh, three. One, three for zero, bro. Why is that about, such a bad ball, bro? Perfect accuracy, my ass, because that shit was bad. Yeah, it was nowhere in the end field play. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll set up a throw. Oh, that is incomplete. A one for seven, dude. Exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. Uh, yeah, I'm just get take some points, bro. This is ridiculous, bro. Tucker's kick is I'm literally getting knocked out. Oh, my pass is knocked out every time. He's out of complete or uh, they get thrown out of bounds. You want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. I want to listen. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the the that, that's, them, this nigga got the like right hell of speed to just get, get away from me. Like, I'm very already in that groove here this yeah, that's that, Okay. Normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have this to nigga, think to yourself, I literally this be a run was running with him. And all I'm saying, he just boosh. I saw that. I took right an extra now. step or two towards the line of nigga scrimmage. Ran it. Instead, they lose got 98 speed. The ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. too hard and let him go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in Oh my God, He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 32-yard line. Luck now to throw. Flushed out right. Are you think? And that is Thank you. That is complete, bro. Coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now it's Smith running right. 
Oh, I was trying to get his stick right there, Lewis. Get a turnover right there. We always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Come on now. He's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Now let's see how the offense still out there. They like to go on fourth and 11. Mm. Oh, he rifles no. one and that's going to be intercepted. Hey, get off me. Oh, and come on. The Packers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Last night, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the answer. Oh, my God. Experience. I literally, How every is pass is getting knocked out, bro. Like, what like, more do I need to do? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure <laughs> he would be content to just kick extra points. Oh, my goodness, bro. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Oh, Jesus. Throwing on third down. Lock. Interception, bro. Tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I absolutely like the thought there. Go after them before they really know what hit them. Because I'm literally going to inside okay he want to use the D-line on me. Hoping to catch the defense a little bit unsettled. Weren't successful in doing it, but they did let them know that they will be aggressive. Oh, this will be caught inside the 10. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. Smith trying to run for it. Nick. And they get him down at the 1. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. Another try for Smith. And he is unable to get in. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Oh, my God. Touchdown. Yep, Down nigga, we're going to lose, bro. A one-yard touchdown reception. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. I really can't do nothing on offense because guess what? Everything is knocked out, and he literally and just blitzing me with a fucking using a rush, using a rusher, and then it's like, oh, I can't do nothing, bro. Oh, touchdown! Here's Koo to kick off. Waddle gonna bring this out of the end zone now, and only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the nothing. touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. But Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now. Incomplete. Wow. Yeah, Incomplete. Exactly like, come on, dog. Camp. And at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left. More than enough time to string a few completions together. Reach the end zone. And then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Incomplete every fucking time, dude. Second and ten. Luck again. He's got a man. Complete. It's a gain of 35. First down now, but that clock rolling. They'll look to throw here. Looking left side, and he's got him in. That's Gonzalez. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Luck throwing again. Nowhere to 
Ridiculous. Time he goes down. Sacks back of the 29. Sacks a growing theme sack, in this bro. first half. This is second and long. Throwing oh, there, oh this no. Come on. Point. Like, this this this, this, this is our game? The still a like, bro. Half they have to play. But I'm so literally getting an instant sack now. I'm, I throw it to a wide open receiver. Oh, guess what? That, that shit incomplete because, oh, what? He don't catch it? forced him into Aaron throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now it's locked. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and goal from the one. This to McLaurin out on the left First side. First animation. Yeah. It's a Packers touchdown. Terry McLaurin in the final seconds of the first half and the Packers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half Luck will try and throw for it complete at the one and he is into the end zone so they get two more on the board here just before halftime so not much time to work with here nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. He finds Smith out of the backfield, and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. A final shot before the break. Lock. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw for the pressure maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play i don't want so we've hit do i get ball first i think i can get teams ball right now at the break hopefully i don't remember kicking it first bro I, I he get ball oh, i get ball okay report. coach and we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside charles davis i'm brandon gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter Waddle will return this from the end zone. Damn, nigga, I can't juke. God damn. Teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had the success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers a little bit more. To the, the fact that he knew I was going to go straight to the um, I was about to try to throw it to what's name. He went straight over there. A quick touch pass here by Luck. Jet sweep. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On first down, Luck. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Here's Locke. And yet again, it's McClure. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. Gonna give it up the middle. Here's Dickerson. Come on. 
Oh wow, I get caught really. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now luck. Well, that one first he's got it. Incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. Oh, handoff. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Here's Luck. And he will slide into a stop. He does have the first down, and now they're in the hurry up. From the red zone now, Lock. And he's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. Hmm. Uh, what the hell you was doing? It's going to wind up incomplete. He is just not at his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. You thought he was Mike. That's three mm -hmm. for this contest. Michael yeah, Jordan or some shit. They can just catch NFL it with two receiver. hands. He's no exception. Escaping the pressure right. And a nice job there defensively to contain him and get him to the ground. A few yards short of the first down marker. You know, I probably could just tie it up right now. Fuck it. On fourth down, lock. That's why you say fuck it. That's why you say fuck it. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. I was so scared. If I didn't get it, I was about to be mad about myself. That's a right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that. They got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now, following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive to half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on the offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. How are you ain't fumbling, dude? I'm stripping. Yeah, I don't like that shit. How it, he just get a, like nobody in front of this nigga? Like this is third and two, maybe the biggest play in this football game. To throw his lock, sliding out of the pocket. Come on, oh yeah. Luck will be intercepted for a third time. Darius Slay with a pick, and the Packers are gonna have it here just past the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT off me. maintain off me. advantage. And that worked this run up field across the 35. 48 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's mm, a solid yeah. footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 48. 14 yards that time, and a first down on the keeper. Lock. 
complete to Moore. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Oh, no. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and a couple. Oh, my God. We got it. <laughs> He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them. Yes, sir. And he's got it. It's caught for the Packers touchdown. Watch, he's about to quit. He's about to quit. touchdown passes now for Andrew Luck. And the Packers will add to their fourth quarter lead. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good. Come on, water, baby, water. Water, baby, water. <laughs> Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Hester to return from his end zone. Mm, and the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Here's first down. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. It's and really takes near. a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Why did the hell you just do that? To throw on second down is locked. Yes, sir. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Bro, I just bought this controller. I feel like this shit messed up. Like, Here's you know, third down. Here's Locke. Polluting the pressure right. That's what you get, bro. Incomplete. Well, this is getting close to a no-win situation now. They've got one I ain't never fucked up so many times so on doing adjustments. Tomorrow. This might require a little extra razzle-dazzle to get it done. I ain't never messed up this many times. Oh, safety? Safety? Oh, yeah, you rage quitting. You said, fuck this. Yes, I understand. <laughs> yes, I understand. Come on now. Andrew Luck had an amazing game. I wish I could see the stats on both games. But nah, they both quit. So, hey, man. Andrew Luck, man. One of the greatest. Well, he, bro, we're crazy. Like, everybody knew he, he was going to be something special in the NFL. He basically like a Hall of Famer in a way. You already, like, he ain't taking anyone, but people make it seem like he is already. You feel me? Because he, he was going to have an amazing career, bro. But he did. He said, fuck that. I ain't dealing with all this. I, 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 I want to live. You feel me? And, you know, football is a, a physical sport. So. Hey, yeah, man. So we're going to interview off right there, man. If y'all like that video, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Because I don't want to miss no videos coming. Not enough being said. Have a blessed day.